So for this first experiment, we're going back to the lemon. We're going to try to decide whether it makes a difference on how far apart I put the electrodes when I um, when we measure the voltage. Uh, so we're going to put the electrodes probably just in two or three different locations and then see what happens on our measurement. Okay, I uh, was having trouble getting the lemon to stand up, so I just cut the bottom off. and. Um, I've attached alligator clips to make it easier to measure. First I'm going to do a continuity test. Okay, so here we have it and it's measuring 0.862 volts. Now I do want to point out that the continuity test doesn't work. There's no beep and um, I think it's just that the current that's going through is so low that it's it's not passing. But it's 0.826 volts. Now I just changed the nail out and it's 0 0.308 volts. So that's kind of curious. Um, I'm not sure what each of them is cover coated with so I'll have to do a little investigation. But obviously with the bigger nail and the um, uh, you get a better uh, voltage reading. Now out of curiosity since we have the small nail in here We'll move it over a bit. So it's 0.28 right now. I'm moving it over to a hole about a centimeter away. And it's a little less, not too much less. Almost the same thing. So another centimeter. So here it is now. Oh, it's a little more. About over this way all the way over here. Mm, hard to tell, so it's 305, 0.305, 0.269, 0.261, Okay, so this experiment will test to see if the difference, distance of the electrodes in a lemon will um, vary the output in um, potential. So here we are about one centimeters and it's 0.155, about two centimeters and it's about 154. About three centimeters, one five six, four centimeters, point one nine. So that bumped a bit, and I'm not sure exactly why. So that's kind of interesting. You might want to do that again in another portion of the lemon. So here we are doing it again. It's about one centimeter and it's 0.168, about two centimeters, and it's about 1.51, three centimeters, and it's 1.53, uh, four centimeters. About one four zero. Well, that doesn't tell me anything. Oh, and does it have to? Well, not really. One two. So, um, in this test, I um, wasn't able to draw any conclusions, which is okay, um, about the distance of the um, electrodes in a lemon battery um, making any impact on the output of the um, of the output voltage. So the one thing I do want to say is that um, I don't know if I'm crossing membranes when I go down this line. So that could very uh, easily be one of the problems I'm encountering here. Now when I switch out the nail to be a different nail. So I just want to 
point out that here we have a reading of about 0.1 and we switch out the nail to be say this nail and our reading is 0.5 so whatever it is this is a much better um, uh, works a lot better in this uh, form for uh, generating current 0.53 0.52 and here was again 0.52 now let's go back to this position here and here oops sorry and we have 0 0.56 0 0.56 0.56 and we disengage, so that's, this is a little awkward, sorry. And this one was sort of interesting, because it gave us, oh, last time it gave us a nice reading, but hmm, inconsistent results. 0.56, so that's pretty good. We can go with that. Now I've cut my lemon open and look at inside, my goodness. So when I was poking along this strand, look at that. Who knows what membranes I crossed and so definitely that could have affected um, my readings. So here we are, we'll do it with the open side of the battery and just go for about a centimeter again. And it's 0.54, 2 centimeters, 0.53. So we're kind of consistently about a half a volt coming out of this um, lemon. Now here I have a bunch of cherry tomatoes. I thought, well, gosh, let's try it with that. Look at that with the cherry tomato. I get about a half a volt. That's very awesome. I have to make sure they're not touching in the middle there. Oh, maybe they were. Okay, nope, about a half a volt. Because they're not t definitely not touching there. Pretty cool. Now, I didn't think I was going to get anything off of this half and half here, but I'm getting a half a volt. Wow, incredible.